Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's worship. Lord be with you. We meet in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Throughout today's worship, we're going to be referring to Article 24, which states that every child has the right to good health. This includes clean water, healthy food, a clean environment, and access to good quality healthcare. Now, with your access to good quality healthcare, that includes both the physical body and also the mind. And as it was World Mental Health Day on Saturday, we have decided to dedicate today to our mental health and well-being. Well, talking about mental health can be something that some people find a little bit difficult. And it's important to know that each and every one of us has mental health. And we can all support each other to overcome any difficulties that we have with our mental health by talking and being kind to one another. As I said on the last slide, everybody has mental health. Your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Like you would exercise your body, you also have to take time out and exercise your mind and make sure that your thoughts aren't all over the place. This means that you need to take a breath and pause sometimes and do something that you enjoy. What I would like you to do now is I would like you to pause the video and have a little chat with your class about all of the ways that you can keep yourself mentally healthy. We will compare with the next slide to see if you have thought of any of the ideas that I have. So here are some of the ways that I have thought of for you to look after your mental health. Pause the video now and have another class discussion about your ideas and my ideas and see how they compare. Today we are wearing yellow and the reason for this is because we're showing young people that they are not alone with their mental health and we're raising vital funds to help support Young Minds which is a charity who supports others with mental health. We've all been going through a really difficult time recently so wearing yellow today is a way of showing solidarity with others to help them know that they are not alone. Looking after well-being has never been more important and too many young people still feel ashamed or scared or nervous to open up about how they're really feeling inside. The more people who show they care and show kindness, the more comfortable people will be about talking about mental health and if they are really struggling or finding something difficult. So it's really important for us to make a stand and start to talk and support people with mental health. So what I would like you to do now is I would like you to pause the video and your teacher will play you this YouTube clip. In the video clip, the children talked about some of the ways that you can help others to support their mental health by listening and being a kind friend. Although it's really important to show kindness to others, it's also essential that we show kindness to ourselves. And sometimes this can just mean that when things do get a little bit overwhelming or a little bit tough, it's important to take a step back, to breathe, and to do something that we all enjoy, okay? So, in the video they said that you should take five minutes per day and dedicate that to self-love and this can make a huge difference to your mental health and your well-being. In the video the children talked about some of the ways that you can do this. You can read a book, you can take some time to be quiet, you can spend time in nature. There are lots and lots of different ways that you 
can support your mental health and well-being by just taking those five minutes out to breathe and just be you and do something that you enjoy. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to think about some of the ways that you would like to support your mental health and well-being and how would you show yourself some kind. We know that it's been tough lately, like I said earlier in the video. So we know that people in our school have been going through a difficult time and it can be hard to feel positive. But you're not alone. By coming together, we can remind ourselves of this. By being there for each other and sharing positive moments, we can start to feel more hopeful about the future. Sometimes it's just the little things in life that we take for granted, which make all of the difference and brighten up our days. This, this is why today I want to give you a little bit of a challenge. What I want you to do is I want you to try and spread a little bit of positivity around our school. Do you think that you can take on my challenge? There are three steps. The first thing that I would like you to do is I would like you to say something kind to a teacher. The second step is to wave and smile at a friend. And the third is my favorite. I would like you to tell a joke and try to make somebody laugh. Okay, I hope you accept the challenge and I hope you have fun spreading some positivity across our school. Now, usually we end our worship on a prayer, but today what I would like us to do is I'd like us to finish on a poem. Okay, now this is one of my favourite poems and I think that it's going to become one of yours too. And it's all about being positive and smiling. So listen carefully. Smiling is infectious. You can catch it like the flu. When someone smiled at me today, I started smiling too. I walked around the corner and someone saw me grin. When he smiled, I realized I'd passed it on to him. I thought about the smile and then realized it's worth. A single smile like mine could travel around the air. So if you feel a smile begin, don't leave it undetected. Start an epidemic and get the world infected. I hope you enjoyed it and I really hope that you are going to spread some positivity around our school today. I look forward to hearing all about all of the challenges um, and I really can't wait to hear some of your jokes as well throughout the day. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you.